What's up everybody? I hope you're all well and safe. JP here. Welcome to the channel. Great to have you with me today. We're going to talk about part two on Facebook, or part two, on Facebook. Uh, some updates I got from them recently in regards to some documentation, some videos, a few other items. So we're going to take a few minutes today, sit down for a few and chat. But before we do that, Let's go get some coffee. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's well and safe. Thought it'd be a little bit of change of venue to be outside and um, take this time to do part two instead of just uh, sitting inside. So get some fresh air, got some coffee here. So why don't we uh, just take a few moments and uh, talk a little bit about um, Facebook and some of the changes that have come up here this week. So they reached out to me and gave me some updates in regards to what I previously talked about in part one. A little bit longer than I wanted to go in part one, so thank you to those who gave feedback. We're going to keep this fairly short and succinct as much as possible in this part two. So what they've changed in the Facebook landing pages is update kind of how to run a live event, how to handle online events, which I talked about in part one. This is where, as an example, you could use a paywall, uh, charge an event, you're doing a live stream on, on Facebook, but they also launched an e-learning uh, module as part of this effort with online events and how you could take some best practices that they provided in the information and then uh, as well as make sure that you kind of have a good understanding of how the online event piece works. Additionally, Facebook has also released on tips about going live on Facebook. Now I talked a little bit about this in my part one video but I want to provide the link to this, and this is some videos that, uh, these are going to be videos that Facebook has developed internally, but are publicly facing videos, as we call them. And these are videos that talk about how to go live, uh, exploring live producer, and a hot topic, copyright, right? There's been a lot of talk or discussion about music rights, what I can do during a live stream, what I can't do, what type of music do I use, what are some of the resources I could utilize on Facebook natively within their own tool, as well as other external sources. Now I've shared a little, few of those external sources. One I would recommend is like Soundstripe, Epidemic Music. Um, I love Soundstripe actually, I've been listening to them quite a bit and I uh, really advise you, you know, if you have time, check them out. Uh, see what you think, take a look, because um, you can kind of use Soundstripe and Epidemic Music in a variety of different areas of the tool uh, that you might be doing on streaming. That could be Facebook, that could be something else. So um, they've got a great little kind of walkthrough from somebody in the Facebook team that talks about the copyright music as well as uh, some other areas of consideration and doing that. Now, these are kind of just some highlights I'm gonna provide you and put in the description that talk about what Facebook is doing and changing, and I wanna say thank you to the Facebook team. I gave some feedback earlier this year, um, contributed some, some comments to the documentation they were working on, and so they've now provided me an update, and I wanna share that with all of you as part of this part two um, update on Facebook. So I would encourage you to take a look at these links. Share your thoughts. One or two items that stand out to you that you think that would be useful. Now a lot is changing and as we talked about in part one, production is kind of a tricky deal. And what I mean tricky is you just gotta get some disciplines down and think about what you're gonna do and what you're not going to do. And it's all about validating your process. It's all about discovery from a creativity perspective because there's a lot of creativity elements involved, but there's also some best practices in terms of workflows and items that I shared in the video um, that kind of walk through that. So I encourage you to go check out part one. You could watch half of it and then go through it and then uh, jump over to this. 
Um, and some of these videos that I'm going to start recording on like Facebook and other platforms is going to be about just focusing on if you were going to a class, an event that you were going to sit in on and you're going to have a subject matter expert that was going to be describing the process. So that might be a 30 minute session, it might be a 40 minute session. So we'll figure out the, the, the kind of the mix of the time, but I do want to make sure that I'm providing the right value for all of you. So uh, if this video is helpful, hit the like button, subscribe, and make sure you like share your comments. I think the leaves just dropped on me. Anyways, so, <laughs> boy, what a deal. So that's the choice of being outside. Um, so share your feedback, your comments, let me know what your thoughts are, and go from there. Stay safe, stay well. Thank you, talk to you soon. California, here I come. Every heartbeat just like a drum. I hear your rhythm, you feel so near. California, all senses clear.